Okay. I'm Randy Ashenfelter, and I work for March on Ceramics. We're the local distributor for Laguna Clay and Equipment. Uh, this is a Laguna Raku kiln. We're doing a Raku firing. Um, right now, I'm going to pull out the, the pieces. We're at just over 1,900 degrees. Uh, one piece I've got in the trash can already. I'm going to pull that out, see how it looks, and then we're going to open the kiln up and, and pull out a second one. Uh, so I've got my safety equipment on for dealing with hot temperatures. And let me pull out the piece that we've already fired. Can you hold it right up to us? Pretty. Okay, now I've got my can filled with combustible material. And I'm gonna open the kiln up, pull the pot out, set it in the can. And as that as that burns and fires, we're gonna see a change in the in the color and look of the pot. I'll wave it around so I can get some cracks in the legs. You have some safety equipment on there too, don't you, Randy? Yes. Whenever you're doing raccoon, you want to wear natural fibers. Wear natural fibers, never synthetics. Because natural fibers will burn, whereas synthetics will melt. Um, normally I have pants on for doing raku, but since it's warm, I wear shorts. Um, I'm going to do have a fireman's jacket, heavy Kevlar gloves, and a face shield to protect me from any, any flame ups that might happen. Um, there are risks in raku. Obviously I'm, not, I'm wearing safety equipment to prevent that, but as long as you know what you're doing and you respect the, the flame and the, the, the propane and the, and the, and the fire, you, you know, you can, you can react to relatively safely. I've been doing this for years and haven't had a problem with it. So. Thanks, Randy. Sure.